If you remember, in episode number 2, we talked about cancer stages. There, we mentioned that the higher cancer is graded based on criteria that we have discussed, the more difficult to treat it is. I will put a link to episode number 2 so that you can go back and watch it if you need to. There, we also mentioned that since high-grade tumors are difficult to treat, with no doubt, Early detection systems of cancer is so important not only for diagnosis but also for successful treatment of the disease. This is why now many cancer research activities are directed not only towards treatment of cancer but also towards development of new systems that detect cancer at early stages. Here in this episode we will be talking about early cancer detection systems and tests for several cancer types. We will be breaking it down in several parts so that you can focus on your cancer type of interest. So now let's go ahead and have a closer look. Early diagnosis of cervical cancer or cervix cancer. The Papa Nicolaou test, also known as PAP test, PAP smear, cervical smear or smear test, is one of the tests which I am positive that women have heard quite often during the general gynecologic exam. Good for you! The PAP test detects potentially precancerous or pre-malignant changes of the cervix. Pre is a prefix which means before. So the pap test detects any changes of cervix before it becomes malignant. We call those changes cervical dysplasia or cervical intraepithelial neoplasia, CIN. By the way, if you're not quite sure where cervix is located in the body, it is the lower end of the uterus that connects the uterus with the upper part of the vagina. These precancerous changes of the cervix are usually caused by sexually transmitted human papilloma virus or as we call it HPV. For women at age approximately 21, the PAP test is recommended three years after the first vaginal intercourse. It is recommended to get a PAP test screening every year with conventional PAP test or every two years with liquid-based PAP tests. For women that are at age approximately 30, PAP test is recommended three years after first vaginal intercourse every year with conventional pap test or every two years with liquid-based pap test or every three years an HPV DNA test plus cervical cytology. In many countries, pap tests are usually performed during the regular annual gynecologic examination. For women at age approximately 70, if three or more pap tests resulted as normal and there was no abnormal pap test within the past 10 years and if the women underwent hysterectomy which means the surgical removal of the uterus the doctor may decide to stop cervical cancer screening. Early diagnosis of endometrial cancer. For endometrial cancer if a woman at menopause discovers any unexpected bleeding or spotting, they must report this to their physician as this may relate it to endometrial cancer. As you can see, there are many detection systems and tests already in use to detect cancer at early stages. Please make sure you check them with your doctor to ensure an early detection of possible cancer which may lead to a successful treatment of the disease. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next episode. So we hope this was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cancer videos. And once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be informed when we publish our new video. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next episode. Take care.